Let's go Bears at Falcons. I got the I got the Falcons. Falcons are at home. Even though Justin Fields has been playing well these last few weeks, uh, they still haven't equated to wins. Um, and the Falcons haven't really been winning either. But I, I have the Falcons winning. I just mainly because they're home, honestly. Uh, so yeah, I have the Falcons winning that one. Panthers at Ravens. I have the Ravens. The Ravens are at home. Baker Mayfield starting, which I think Baker Mayfield starting at least this game is better than PJ Walker starting. But uh, you're still Lamar. The Ravens are a better team, all around better team. And I I just, the Panthers aren't that good. So I have the Ravens winning that. Browns at Buffalo. The, The game's actually going to be in Detroit because Buffalo is like getting six inches of snow or supposed to get six inches of snow. Um, I think that's a huge advantage for Buffalo, especially when you have Josh Allen not playing outside the, the amount of time that they throw the ball. Uh, you can the run a run game travels. Yeah, it'll be cold, but you can always run the ball and you don't really have to worry about wind and, and stuff when you pass the ball and especially pass the ball as much as uh, the Bills do. I think that's a huge advantage for Bills and I have the Bills winning this game. Josh, I think they're on a two-game losing streak or three-game losing streak, two-game losing streak. Josh Allen, and you're playing in a dome. I got Josh Allen winning this. Uh, I, I, I just think a lot has been. Uh, you have to sh- change the script at least some point. And while no, they're they're not. They're still six and three, but you're on a two-game losing streak against two teams that you were projected to beat. Uh, I, I have the Bills winning this game. Commanders at Texans. I have the Commanders. Uh, Tyler Taylor Heineke looks like he's going to be starting for the foreseeable future, even with Carson Wentz looks like he's healthy to come back. I think that's the right decision as because of the locker room. I mean, if you – the locker room and the energy of a, of a, of a team tells you who they want, you know. And it – Taylor Heineke may not be the best option for the team. Carson Wentz may be the best option. Who knows? But it, it's all about the locker room. And if the locker room and the, and the team and the energy is better with Taylor Heineke as a starting quarterback, then you, and, and he did just win, you know, a big win against the Eagles, you ride that. You want it, you you ride that. You're five and five right now. You have a chance to go five hundred. You're going against the worst team in the league. I, you know, the the team that you the the Washington, even though they're still they still have their problems. The and Taylor Heineke still even has his problems. Washington looks looks better. They look like they care. They look like they want to be there. They just look better with Taylor Heineke. Not saying that Taylor Heineke is a is is not as good or or is better than Carson Wentz. It's just energy. So I I I have no problem, and I think it's smart that Washington is going to stick with. Taylor Heineke, at least for the foreseeable future. But for Sunday, I have Commanders winning. Again, the Texans aren't good. The Texans are not good at all. I got the Commanders win this game. Eagles at Colts. Uh, I have the Eagles winning, even though the Colts do present a lot of problems if they continue to play like they played last week. A lot of defensive coverages and offensive coverages that um, that the Colts do are the same thing that Washington did and the same thing that a lot of teams that gave Eagles problems do. Now the Eagles did get in Dominican Sue. I don't know if he's gonna play. Uh I don't know if he's gonna play on, on Sunday, but getting Dominican Sue is huge, especially for the Eagles run game or run defense, which has been their biggest problem this year. This is just yet another <laughs> yet another sign that the Eagles are going for it this year. So but on Sunday I do have the Eagles winning. Uh, I, I still trust Jalen Hurts over Matt Ryan at this point, and I trust a team that has only one loss in the season compared to a team that has five and one tie. I have the Eagles winning that one. Just at Patriots, I have the Jets. Um, the Patriot, yo, Mac Jones has regressed. Now that's that you kind of saw that coming when you don't even have an offensive coordinator on the team. Uh, he's regressed badly. Now I. Zach Wilson hasn't been that good either. The The Jets have been riding off of the run game and uh, the defense. 
if 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 Zach Wilson just plays within himself, they're gonna win. And he doesn't he he manages the game. He doesn't have to do too much. Doesn't too little. They'll win the game because I don't. The Patriots defense is still good, but I don't see them be, hanging what twenty, twenty five, thirty points on somebody's head with consistency. The only problem is I also don't see that from the Jets. So I have the Jets winning that. Rams at Saints. I don't even know, man. I guess. Mm. I guess I'll go Rams because I know Matthew Stafford's going to be back, even though Cooper Cup is gone. Mm, Cooper Cup is gone. But the Saints have been bad too, man. The defense. I'm, mm. I'm gonna go Saints. I'm gonna go Saints. The defense. I have no faith in the defense. I have no faith in Andy Dalton. But to me, the Saints have the best player that is available. I think, and that is Alvin Kamara. That's a bad game. Both teams aren't that good. I'm gonna pick the Saints. Lions at Giants. I got the Giants. The Lions are riding on a two-game win streak. However, the Giants are still the Giants, and the Giants have been good this year. They're seven and two. I have the Giants. Uh, Raiders at Broncos. I will say this: the Bron- the Raiders have to win this game. You lose back-to-back weeks against. Jeff Saturday, who was literally coaching his first game as a coach on any on any level outside of high school. And then you turn around and lose to Nathaniel Hackett, who a lot of people have a, have determined to be arguably the worst coach in in the league right now. You think the Josh McDaniels should should be fired noise was loud last week. I say all that to say the I got the Raiders winning because they have to win this game. They have to win this game. Yo, you can't lose back-to-back to Jeff Saturday and Nathaniel Hackett. That's all I'm saying. Cowboys at Vikings. I have the Vikings. I'm, oh, hold on. It's 425. Mm. It's 425. We know. 1 p.m. Kirk Cousins is a Hall of Famer, but 425. I have the Vikings. I don't I I think that Justin Jefferson has emerged as one of, if not the best, uh wide receiver in the league right now. And Kirk Cousins has been good. I mean, quite as kept Kirk Cousins has been really good. Uh and Dallas defense, I, you're probably gonna put Trayvon Diggs on Justin Jefferson and you got a you a a offensive line has to protect Kirk Cousins from Mike Mika Parsons and that defense, which is a very good defense. Um, I just don't trust the offense against this this. I just don't trust the Cowboys' offense against the Vikings' defense. The Vikings' defense that caused or put a lot had a lot of caused a lot of problems for Josh Allen. Uh, and that that Bills offense, which is, in my opinion, better than the Cowboys offense. So I have the and the Vikings are at home. I have the Vikings winning this game. Bengals at Steelers. Bengals are going to kill the Steelers, I believe. Um, yeah, the Bengals are just a better team, uh, in my opinion. The Chiefs Sunday Night Football. Chiefs at Chargers. I have the Chiefs mainly because the Chargers are still beat up. Uh, and a lot of a lot of these wins that the Chargers have are like not against h- high scoring teams, and now you're going against one of the b- highest scoring team in the league. Now losing Valdez Scanling, he's on IR. That's going to be big, but you still have a lot of pieces. Uh, Travis Kelsey's still there. You know, Juju Smith should still. I, I don't know if he's going to be out of concussion protocol, but. As we've seen, Kandarius Tony still or looks good. I have the Chiefs winning that. And Monday Night Football, that's in Mexico, I think, actually. Um, or Mexico City. Uh, 49ers at Cardinals. Cardinals suck. So, Cardinals suck. I have the 49ers. 
Um, Cardinals aren't that good. And I don't think they know if Kurt, I mean, if uh, Kyler Murray is going to start. If Kyler Murray starts, that helps the Cardinals' favor. But if not, Colt McCoy might be starting, but he's even hurt too. So I don't fuck. I don't know. I have I have the 49ers. Oh, man, you stayed to the end of the video. I appreciate you. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss any content from your boy. You can also go back and watch past episodes, past clips, and don't forget that the Unpopular Podcast new episodes drop every Wednesday and Saturday. Appreciate you.